17th Street, just over the bridge. Pen flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. All right, thank you for tuning in. As you know, Tom Clancy is no longer with us, but Jack Ryan is. Jack Ryan lives, and uh, that's because of Mike Madden. Am I saying Mike's last name right? Um, Mike is on the phone. He's a researcher, a political consultant, a media commentator on the topics of war, tech, and the Middle East. And uh, he's got a new book. It's called Enemy Contact. It is a Tom Clancy novel because, of of course, uh, Tom Clancy uh, created the character Jack Ryan. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Doing great. How are you guys? I'm good. Where are you? I live in Sevierville, Tennessee, at the foot of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. How, oh. many, how many of the uh, Tom Clancy novels have you written now? Uh, Enemy Contact is number three. Okay, okay. How did this start that you you took uh, picked up where he left off? Well, I uh, got a phone call a couple years ago from Tom Colgan, who is the series editor for Tom Clancy. He was also the paperback editor for my other series called Drone. And it was the greatest literary day of my life because he called up and said, how would you like to write Tom Clancy novels? Of course, a huge fan of Tom Clancy since Hunt for October. So, yeah, what an honor. What a privilege. Of course, I hung up the phone, and it became the worst literary day of my life. Because now, how do I write a Tom Clancy novel? Yeah. But uh, it's a thrill. It's like jumping off a, a building with no parachute. <laughs> but it, it's, it's a great ride down, and I hope the readers enjoy what I've produced so far. And Enemy Contact, I, I push every boundary. I think I've gone beyond my limit. Uh, there's... Badder bad guys and bigger action in this one than, than my other two previous books. I hope they love it. And, and would these have a different, uh, I don't know, a different flavor than than the drone series? Oh, yeah. The Jack Ryan, uh, there, there's two books that come out every year. Jack Ryan Jr. in the summer, which is what I do. Uh, and then the Jack Ryan Sr. books, which come out in the fall. Mark um, Cameron writes those. Mark's book focused more on the president uh, and big action with you know aircraft carriers and international intrigue and whatnot. Mine focuses more on Jack Ryan Jr., the son of the president, uh, who's doing more like small mission stuff. And uh, But all these characters came out of Jack, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Tom Clancy's brilliant mind. And so I'm a kid who got locked in a toy store after hours. The owner said, have fun, just don't break anything. <laughs> <laughs> just don't break anything. I like the way he said it. Just don't right. break anything. Now, in this particular story, just to cut to the chase a little bit because of the short interview, th- there's a, a friend who's dying of cancer and has the last request. Yeah, absolutely. And um, this book is uh, certainly a techno thriller like every other Clancy novel. And there is big action, high stakes, and all of that. But I wanted to tell another story. Um, what does it matter if you keep a promise to a dying friend? Um, you know, the world's at risk, the bad guys are afoot. We understand why Jack needs to complete those missions, but what's the cost of not keeping your word? What's the cost of not being a man of honor? And so I want to explore that issue as well in this book. Oh my gosh, that is an interesting question. Yeah, and does it does uh, the, the characters, does Jack ponder life after death in order to answer that question? Certainly, that's part of the of the mix here. Um, you know, but again, for him, it's like, how do you how do you live a life that's worth living if you don't have if you're not a man of your word, if you're not a man of character? Mm-hmm. And so, whatever he thinks about the afterlife is connected to how he lives this life. So he's going to yeah complete the big mission that we always want in these big books. But here's a mission with virtually no stakes except his own personal sense of honor and integrity, which is actually the highest stakes do, that are, could possibly be at risk. Do we let the audience know what their last request is? Or is that a spoiler? I think we'll, we'll hang on to that one. <laughs> that must be a spoiler. <laughs> hey, spoiler. Okay. Right, we won't say. You tried, Larry, do I? I give you much, that much. You did try it. Uh, so, so in, in writing this, I mean, this this is almost psychological in nature. Um, did you did did you have to kind of uh, channel Jack Ryan yourself, or did did you have to have Jack Ryan channel you? Maybe that's a better question. <laughs> that's a great way to put it. Yeah, I try to do something in every book. I, I always try to push my boundaries in every book, and there's two boundaries. One is the outer one, so bigger action, bigger characters, certainly. 
but I'm also trying to go deep inside of Jack Ryan every time, go deeper and deeper, get to know him better and better. And for me, the chance to get to know him on a mission, in quotes, that has no thriller stakes, just personal stakes, with a chance for me to look at him and his interior and for him to speak to me about how he feels about himself and how he should live in the world. Um, so I have a, a copy of the book here. It is uh, called Enemy Contact. If you would like the one that I have, you can uh, call me and, and I'll leave it here for you. Uh-huh. Do you uh, the book comes out tomorrow, right? Uh, it comes out on uh, uh, next Tuesday. Oh, next, next Tuesday. Okay. A week from tomorrow. All right, a week from tomorrow. Um, so, so as hey, you... Like, no, 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 I'm right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in both time zones. Yeah. It does come out tomorrow, the 11th, it said here. So. Oh, okay. The okay. 11th, exactly right. No, I just, my brain's somewhere else. I'm That's okay. Yeah. It's all right. What, what I would know that. Well, hey, you, you got a lot of things on your plate there, you know. So, But my plate says uh, publication date June 11th, so we're, we'll go with that one. How's that? That is the correct plate, June 11th, tomorrow, absolutely, at every bookstore and place you buy books. you got a hardcover and an e-book also, I understand. And a, and a correct. Bit, audio book, too, right? And an audio book, yes, and a large print version as well. We, uh, we got you covered. An audio book, really? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, Scott Brick reads those. He's, uh, Scott Brick is one of the best readers out there, and he's read every Tom Clancy book for me, and he, he's fantastic. Right. He has a bigger fan base than I do. So does does, <laughs> does, does trying to accomplish the uh, the task of fulfilling the final request of his friend does that throw a, a wrench? What's the com- what's this saying, Joe? A wrench into uh, the monkey monkey wrench? Into yeah. The- does okay. does that mess up with his plans uh, w- with his mission, his other mission? Well, uh, he works for Jerry Henley at the campus. Jerry Henley says, I mean, Jack is literally packing the for the trip to fulfill his deathbed promise and his friend and his boss Henry says you got to do this thing and can't you wait a few more days okay reasonably i guess i can wait a few more days ah okay it's just easy, but it's easy at jack uh, to go over there and of course at some point when it looks like you know th- things are going sideways he may never be able to keep that deathbed promise and so that just makes his predicament 10 times worse wow wow a deathbed promise gosh i hope nobody ever asks me to do something I ask you to do something all the time. I don't even want to go there. Uh, I, you know, actually, this this sort of did happen. I, I have a brother who just passed away. We're trying to figure out what he wanted right. because there was no will. So, but in that case, we're trying to figure it out. Um, well, well, thank you. For, where are you? Where, where are you calling from? From uh, Sevierville, Tennessee, East Tennessee. Sevierville. Well, I'll yes, be. Sir. I know someone's going to be in your area in a couple of weeks. You never know. Well, come on down. There you <laughs> go. Come on up. We yeah, we go on up over there. Sure, sure. Does Hollywood come knocking on your door for for the books? I shouldn't ask that question. It's a dumb uh, question. No, the the Clancy Estate uh, owns the intellectual property, so if they come a knocking, it's not on my door. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I'm glad to assist. Oh, that is interesting. Hmm. And, and and other Clancy books that that he wrote himself. Do you get asked to do the screenplays? Uh, no, I've not been asked to do that. Uh, I, can, I do write screenplays, and I, I love that format uh, and, that, and the, the whole structure of, of, of that kind of uh, um, medium. But no, hmm. I, uh, I'm asked to write Tom Clancy books, and that's what I do. It's a whole new world. Uh, do it. Like a, almost like a ghostwriter, but you're doing the, you're doing all the writing. Yeah. Well, his name gets on the book too, He's and your name gets on the book too. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's see. I found the. I found the book on Amazon. No ratings yet because it doesn't come out till tomorrow, but it's already number um, number eight. Oh, my gosh. That's Not even published. It's already number eight. Number eight, yeah. Amazing. Uh, call me if you want the copy that I was sent. If you uh, do, do you have a different website you'd like us to go to? Well, uh, MikeMadden.com will steer you to everything that I've ever done, including the drone series. Uh, I also have an email and all my contacts on there. But uh, certainly wherever you buy books, uh, please go there and, and buy a copy of uh, Enemy Contact. Okay, Mike. Thank, thank you for being on the show with us today. Thank you so much. It was a real pleasure. You're welcome. Outstanding. We'll be right back. Honey Baked Ham Ocala has new owners. That's right. Come by 2709 Southwest 27th Avenue right behind Best Buy and enjoy our daily lunch specials. 
Yummy. Are you a medical provider that doesn't like to settle for the same boring scrubs? Scrub Paradise in Ocala has a wide selection of top brand scrubs with embroidery available and the newest medical shoes and accessories. Every medical provider should look as great as the care they provide. Scrub Paradise is just off Easy Street next to Shoe Carnival in Ocala. Stop by today or give them a call at 352-873-4368. That's 352-873-4368. Three six eight. Ocala, Time Up Billiards and Buffet has opened. Now you.